In this video, we're going to explain how interest-free days work. Now, when you have a credit card with interest-free days, it will usually say something such as up to 55 days interest-free. Notice that it has the phrase up to on it, meaning it could be less than 55 days. So to explain how this works, I've got a little scenario here. Let's say that your statement period goes from the 1st of September to the 30th of September. I'm going to show that on our date line below. This is our statement period. Okay. It also says that the payment due date is the 25th of October, which is marked here as well. Let's say that you purchase something right at the beginning of the statement period. Let's say you purchase something on the 1st of September. How many days is it until the payment is due? All right, well, to work that out, we first need to figure out how many days there are in September. So there's 30 days in September. And also we need to figure out how many days there are from the 1st to the 25th of October. So there's 25 days here. Now, if we add this up, 30 plus 25, we get 55. So we get 55 days interest free. In order to get the 55 days interest free, you need to purchase the item at the beginning of the statement period. Okay, so let's look at a scenario where you don't buy it at the beginning of the statement period. Let's say we purchase something right in the middle of the month. So we'll say, sorry, the middle of the statement period. Let's go 15th of September. This is when you purchased an item. How many days are there from the 15th to the 30th? Now, when we worked it out, you can subtract it. You can go 30 minus 15, but you also need to add one because we're including the day of the 15th in the count. This comes out to 16. So there are 16 days between the 15th and the 30th. And as we mentioned before, there are 25 days from the 1st to the 25th of October. Okay, so if we add these ones up, we're going to get 16 plus 25, which is 41 days interest-free. Okay, so what if you bought something right at the end of the statement period? So let's say you purchased something on the um, 30th of September this time. right at the end. Purchase something here, 30th of September. Um, as we mentioned earlier, from the 1st to the 25th of October is 25 days. And then you also get just one day, the 30th of September here. So altogether you would get 26 days interest free. So what you would do is if you were in a situation where you wanted to buy something and it was the 30th of September, it was the end of the statement period, you would actually be better off purchasing it on the 1st of October, just waiting one extra day, just wait till the 1st of October. That would be a new statement period, which means you would have got 55 days interest free if you had just waited an extra day to purchase that item. And the reason for that is because if you go into the new statement period, the payment due date also changes. Now, for those of you who are going into the HSC examination and are a bit worried about getting a credit card question with interest-free days, I would just say that it's very unlikely that the question is going to become as complicated as the example I've shown you now. This is how I've been told that banks actually work with interest-free days but I wouldn't worry too much about this going into the examination. Anyway, that concludes this video on interest-free days. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets related to this video.